to Deadly Dames and this is the, my 88 DVD collection. So this has got the Grindhouse collection from them as well as some of the Full Moon stuff and the Ted V. Meikle stuff in it as well. Some of the stuff I just haven't upgraded to Blu-ray to be honest. I probably won't. Now this isn't a bookcase which is in my spare room and the lighting isn't totally fantastic in this corner. So I hope it's it's okay. Um, I will try my best just to get as much as possible in. I'll pull them out and sort of show them as well. I've got one slasher classic which is on DVD and I know the 88 films said they weren't going to release it on Blu-ray because unfortunately the quality of the the movie just they just couldn't get it onto Blu-ray and it's an amazing film so I just couldn't just because they couldn't get it on Blu-ray just didn't mean didn't mean I couldn't pick it up because it's such a good movie and that is um, Killer Workout such a good movie so I just had to have it uh, and it's number six in the DVD collection but I just had to have it uh, and then I've got Cannibal Women of uh, in the Avocado Jungle of Death so I can get that out there I've actually got this in Blu-ray as well but it is part of the 88 Films Grindhouse collection it is number one and I've got this full collection and I've just kept it because of that I've got the day I can't speak today the day the time <laughs> the day time ended if I could get that out uh, which is number two Slave Girls from Beyond Infinity. This is the uh, the alternative cover. I much prefer this one, which is why I flipped it over. Creepazoids. Again, I've actually got the Blu-ray of this one as well. I haven't upgraded all of these to Blu-ray. I've only upgraded the ones which I really liked. And uh, Creepazoids is so bad, it's good. Oh. Doctor Alien. Um, I had this on VHS when I was a kid. This movie is so bad, but... For whatever reason, I just really liked it, so had to do it. Seed People, terrible film, but entertaining. Beach Babes from Beyond, which is a uh, we're at number seven in the Grand House collection. I've actually never watched this one. Mandroid, which was my nickname at old job for whatever reason. laser blast you know i had such high hopes for this movie i really wanted to enjoy it and as much as it's okay it just wasn't as good as i wanted it to be amazonia the Catherine mills story i don't think i'll be upgrading this one I, i've kept it down so you don't see the boobage shadow zone most of these are in fact all of them are filming movies Then we've got Beach Boobs 2. Again, I've actually never watched the Beach Babe ones. I don't know why, I just... Out of all the movies I could pick up, I never picked up the Beach Babes. The Creeps. I've never upgraded this one. It is a pretty bad movie. Um, It's basically about... I can't remember how it happens, but... um, It's about like a ritual that goes wrong and like all the creatures... Like the universal monsters come back to life but they come back as little people so it's like a little Dracula, Wolfman and Frankenstein but it's pretty bad acting, pretty all round, everybody's pretty bad in this movie. It's a hard watch put it that way. And then Hideous. This one's entertaining. And then I know that this one's getting a release say, on Blu-ray but I'm quite happy to have it on. DVD and that's uh, Adult Fairy Tales. Same with this one, it's got a Blu-ray as well, but I'm, I'm happy as well with uh, the DVD. Uh, is it Midian? Midian? I always pronounce it wrong. This has got a, uh, a Blu-ray as well, happy enough with it on DVD. The Mordred. Pit in the Pendium. This one's a good... Um, cheesy sort of 80s flick is it or is it 90s maybe 90s maybe early early 90s it's got yeah a young Seth green in it so it's probably very early 90s arcade bad channels i enjoy this one very fun the dead want women i actually really like this one 
Again, these are all filming. And Lurking Fear. Jeffrey Combs. Who doesn't like Jeffrey Combs? And then these are the Ted V. Mikos. I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong. If I am, I'm very sorry. Um, underneath these um, 88 ones, I know I keep pulling the camera down. It's just my box sets. So sorry if I keep pulling it down to them. Um, so we've got Doll Squad. These are all just the fun, entertaining movies, these ones. Corpse Grinders about people that just kind of um, make people into cat food. It's fun. Blood Orgy of the She Devils. Girl, Girl in the Gold Boots. This is a terrible Bruce Campbell movie, but do you know something? I find it fun. Moon Trap. I really enjoy Unhinged. I thought Unhinged was really good. I didn't really like the remake. I prefer the original. Tomb and Junction, you know, this falls into the category of the advert's better than the movie. I think the advert makes this movie look as if, as if it's fantastic. Um, and it's uh, it's okay, but the advert is like, I could watch the advert over and over, but the, the movie itself is like, not that good. <laughs> but the advert's really, really good. I still need to pick up the new release of um, Alice, Sweet Alice. For whatever reason, I thought this was uncut. Uh, sorry, it was cut, but it's not. I don't know why I thought that, but uh, yeah, I really, really like this movie and I need to pick up the Blu-ray release of it. Um, a couple of like um, big triple features here. So I've got the triple feature of uh, Subspecies. I had the VHS of these when I was a kid. I used to be scared of them and I've rewatched them since. They're just silly. They're silly fun. And then trilogy of Puppet Master. Um, I like the Puppet Master. Puppet can't speak. Puppet Master movies. They're just entertaining. You know what you're getting with them. They're just killer dolls. They're not scary at all. I've got four and five on Blu-ray. I'm not planning to upgrade the first three. Um, I'm not gonna watch them that often that I want to have them on Blu-ray to be honest. But happy enough having them on DVD. And then the last eight to eight film ones is the Killjoy collection. I don't think this is a trilogy actually, I think, it, well, it's four, four movies. Again, not going to watch them that often that I'm ever going to want to upgrade them, but happy enough to have them like that. So yeah, that's all the 88 films that I have on DVD. Quite happy to keep them like that. Don't ever imagine I'm going to upgrade them other than Alice Sweet Alice. I'm quite happy to have it like that. I'd probably upgrade Unhinged if it was released on Blu-ray. Um, but other than that, I'm happy to keep the ones I've got there. Um... Yeah, let me know what you think of these, if you've got any of these on DVD or Blu-ray and if you've seen any of them. And um, as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and take care.